we're wondering what are the ideal ways to show VR exhibitions. And it seems that there are lots of different ideas and some artists like the fact that they can be shown anywhere because you're catapulted into a totally different area, a different region, different sphere. There's VR on the one hand and there's uh, AR and then there's mixed reality which is being developed. I think it's going to be a spectrum of possibilities and they will actually merge into each other a little bit. I know Bjarn Melgaard as a very important Scandinavian painter, also someone who makes sculptures and uh, I know of video works, etc. But this is the first time you work with this new, very powerful medium, virtual reality. And an obvious question is, of course, not only why you did it, but rather what it offers that you couldn't have done in more traditional mediums. How the VR functions for me was that I had the possibility to materialize a narrative in a kind of almost transcendental way. So I could take all this older, references, and I could present them in a totally contemporary context. I couldn't have done that in any other medium. It's something strange with VR that it promises sublime experiences. What's the experience for the audience? You are immersed in a very isolated experience, which you are not in a regular museum, and here you can somehow be within the artwork. I feel like isn't it a little bit a challenge for VR now to go beyond just tree masks from the ceiling. I mean, just talking to people who, who try this medium now, mm. I feel that they're almost like two schools or two approaches. Mm. And uh, I could see your piece, if you say that it's almost like a hyper-dense retrospective, mm. it could of course be inside an, a show of yours. Yes. There are others with whom we have worked who like the fact that it's a totally abrupt kind of cut. Mm. That, you know, you can sit in the basement and then you are kind of catapulted into a different space. Many people, they talk about, you know, how will this be for artists, this medium? How will this develop? But I haven't heard so many people talking about how will this be for a curator? What is a curator now in relation to the art? In a way, I have been a very classical old school curator, working for museums, the Venice Biennale, things like that. So of course it will change everything. We could, apropos the merging or the kind of mixing of real and virtual, one could probably do, I wouldn't even call them biennials, but kind of events that happen in LA, Copenhagen, uh, mm -hmm. some South Africa at the same mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, takes place in physical yeah. space, but it has so strong uh, virtual presence mm -hmm. that it's actually a kind of international event. I think that these technologies, mm -hmm. and VR being the visually most overwhelming and therefore maybe the best example, is a possibility to actually totally disrupt traditional structures of the art world. Mm -hmm. the, the gallery, the art fair, the museum, the private collection. Mm -hmm. All of that, to a certain extent, is irrelevant mm. because it can actually be art for all. Isn't it also interesting that the art works get detached from all these openings and conferences and talks and you can go back to maybe the individual experience of an artwork? Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.